Cathedral City Police Officers Association is urging voters to not reelect Ernesto Gutierrez to City Council this November, citing a lack of support from him. Gutierrez has been on City Council since 2018 and has served as mayor over the past year. News Channel 3 Samantha Lomiba spoke with an officer about their campaign against Gutierrez and also how the mayor is responding to the allegations tonight. Samantha. Good evening, John. I'm right in front of City Hall and the Cathedral City Police Station, where the police union actually told me they're fed up with how things are being run and they're hoping to see someone else in charge. Now, Mayor Gutierrez is telling me that he actually loves police force and says upper management is the problem. Obviously, we do as we told. <laughs> we're told um, we don't want to be insubordinate, but um, in, the, in the back of our hearts and our minds, we're like, this is this is not the right way to go about it. President of the Cathedral City Police Officers Association, Jesse Borrego, tells me concerns over the mayor's actions picked up about a year ago. When Ernesto Gutierrez first ran for city council, he was backed by the police department. We just feel like we need somebody that's new in there, somebody that actually supports the police department and just doesn't put this, um, this work on us that we feel is just like not good for the city. We feel like it's more of a personal agenda for him rather than what's better for the residents. After speaking with Mayor Gutierrez, he tells me he's shocked to hear about this campaign against him. He tells me he's a big supporter of the police force and believes the problem is coming from management. It's upper management. Upper management is what has a thing against me. Some of our police department management, including our chief, do not like to be accountable or held accountable for what's going on. I know this is a very difficult subject. Last month, Gutierrez and police butt heads during a city council meeting when Gutierrez called out officers working as homeless liaisons. I have heard some comments that um, our two officers actually don't spend all the time out on the field, that uh, they actually spend a lot of time in the office uh, just goofing off. Borrego telling me it was a jab at their dedication and hard work. These guys, it's a two-man team and they are very, very busy. Obviously, we have a really huge homeless population within our city and they're constantly working every single day trying to get um, housing and resources for these people. So for him to say those things, it was just disheartening, obviously, to them and to us for all the hard work that we do. While Gutierrez says it was nothing personal against the officers, he felt that no progress was being made. After the council meeting, I, I spoke with uh, several business owners and they thanked me because the police officers were actually taking care of issues. They were actually out there talking to homeless, uh, homeless people and taking care of issues. They were patrolling more. They were out on the streets. He tells me despite what's being said about him, he will continue to work for the city and its residents. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue to do what, are, what my constituents and residents want as for the union, they hope there will be someone else in his place. We just want somebody that, uh, we just want a better leader, somebody that can partner with us on city council and just make the city better. Now the police union plans to follow full launch a full campaign next week, including a billboard that you'll be able to see on Date Palm and 30th, while Gutierrez tells me despite all of this, he will continue fighting for the city. A reminder that Election Day is on November 8th, and to stay with News Channel 3 for all of your election coverage. Live in Cathedral City, Samantha Mebao, News Channel 3.